Alrighty, how's it going everybody? Zero one of one, back again. And um, we're trying out Streamlabs again. I think I fixed some of the issues. Um, I also took uh, note of some of your comments. Uh, the desktop audio or the game audio is down to about 50%. Um, I turned up the mic volume and then I disabled the thing that would then repeat the mic volume into the desktop audio. So that's where that echo was coming from. So that's going as well. Um, hopefully this will work fine now, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're back here in station ears. Um, I will still be making videos on this. Um, and then I would like, uh, to go live for the, uh, space engineers, uh, playthrough. So that way, you know, I can be there and then you guys can maybe, uh, chill along with me as we play and, you know, make fun of me as I make mistakes because it's one of the best things to do when you're live with people. Um, okay, so I don't even remember what I was doing uh, in the last video here, so I guess I can just do a quick recap. Um, okay, so we got that. Uh, I think I did, yeah, I made some updates here. So um, this is our fuel line. I don't know if I, uh, I might not have uh, recorded this part, actually. I think I did this off, offhand. So um, I've got all of the pipes in there, so you can see them all. They're all in there, all nice and labeled, and they're all going into their or from their respective tanks. And then we've got our fuel tank, which is this orange one right here, which just goes down along here, goes through there, and then we'll pick it up on the other side. Uh, apparently I'm thirsty. Um, okay, so we go over here, and then I've got this set up to go into here, and then this feeds into uh, our little uh, furnace here and then uh, what I did is I have this guy over here, right? So this is my little pressure regulator and it's gonna put out 5,000 kPa But only when this button is pushed and only for as long as the button is down Right, so if we were to take this thing, right? So we're at 902 kPa, right? So if we hit this Goes up to 906, right? We get a little little hit of gas in there Hit it a couple times, hit it a couple times. And then we're basically just kind of bleeding a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So we're just bleeding a little bit of gas in there uh, each time. And that way we can, it's not exactly precise, but it's, you know, kind of precise. Um, and then, you know, you click it more, you get more gas. You click it less, you get less gas, right? And then uh, this is our input here. So this will go directly uh, into the side there. Um, I still have the output over here because it's just going to spit it out. Um, and the reason why I have this here is because when I do encase this thing, and I would like to encase it, um, I would like to be able to put stuff in without having to actually get inside of there. So that's why that's there currently. And then uh, we have our fuel going over to here, which perfectly lines up with our centrifuge right here, uh, the ins and outs. So combustion centrifuge. So that's the output there. There's the input there. So then the output... Uh, would then have to go over into here and then tie into the brown line. So I'll figure out how to get that going. Um, probably just run it around here and then kind of run it along parallel and then just kind of kick it over this way, go around and then up and then it'll just uh, join back in um, somewhere over there. Not sure exactly how or why or when or where, but it'll, we'll get it to work. Um, so yeah, so I think that's mostly what I did when I was off camera. Um, see how it works, I guess. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Um, I'm gonna need gases, um, probably a lot of them, uh, which means ices, probably a lot of those as well, because that only makes sense, right? Um, Okay, so how much do we have in here? We have 2.64 megapascals of volatiles in, or sorry, fuel in there right now. And it's roughly the correct mixture. It's not exactly correct, but it's, it's close enough. Um, but I think when I was mixing that, I think I ran out of either this, and we still have that. Did I run out of this? Yeah, I ran out of that. So we're out of volatiles, so I am gonna need more of those um, and then do I have any in here? No, that's my solids. These are my ices. Okay, no, I'm going to need to find more of those. 
Okay, so that's that's not a big deal. Um, right, so yeah, so everything in here, and then the brown, of course, is the mixed gases coming in and then becoming the uh, unmixed gases. So that's how all of that is working currently. And then I could write something into this IC right here to incorporate uh, this. So I would need to probably connect in this right here and then stop it when it reaches like a certain, I don't know, pressure or something. Uh, but I can actually just hook up that can go there, and then we just need that to go there. Okay, so now that's hooked up, oxygen is hooked up, so because I want to make sure that I don't completely drain my oxygen here, because then if I happen to need to fill this, um, this is my what I use to breathe. Um, actually, speaking of, yeah, I was running a little low there. So that will fill up with whatever is left in there. And then I probably should put some sort of a meter on here somewhere, somehow, maybe there. Um, so you could like look in here. Well, of course, this one doesn't have one because it doesn't have the upright portion on here. Um, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a work in progress, work in progress. Um, but it seems to be a functioning work in progress so far, so that's good. <sighs> All right, so let's see. Uh, first, we're gonna need some of this delicious water because reasons and because we don't wanna die. Uh, so there's that, we'll toss that in there. And then um, I kind of want to play around with the combustion centrifuge now that I have the fuel hooked up, but I am still going to have to get the uh, the waste hooked up as well. So that's going to be another thing. Um, let me eat up this potato here. Let me see, okay, where are these potatoes? They're about halfway done, so they can still stay in there for a while longer yet. So we'll make another potato. Yeah. When I get down to like three potatoes, I think I'll probably plant them then. And that should be a fairly good marker for me to uh, make some more stuff. All right, or grow some more stuff. Not really making it. Um, okay, so there's that. Uh, we've got all that. Our filters are good. Um, our oxygen is good. Our waste tank is good. Uh, we could use a little bit more propellant. Oh, close helmet. There we go. All right, so let me fill up my propellant real quick. And that's going to be nitrogen is black, I believe. Yes. Okay, so that will go there. Yes, I know, because I just took it off. All right, how's this doing? Okay, it's filling. Slowly, but it is filling. Um, I should... Yeah, so this pipe analyzer is good for the mixed stuff. Um, how are we doing here? Uh, we're 3,500? I mean, that's that's pretty good, right? I'd say that's pretty good. Okay, so we'll turn that off, I guess, for now. Um, I could put... No, because how, how would I test that? I would have to have this connected up to data, which I could technically do. And then once this is detecting a certain pressure or whatever, then I could have that turn that off. But once again, I only have so many inputs and outputs on that thing, so I can't really go crazy like I would like to otherwise. Um, but, uh, so that should be good. Um, okay, so I'm gonna see what I can find for more volatiles. I think I picked everything out of here that was volatile, um, but we can always check again, I suppose. Um, I don't think I have anything down here. This is just me digging a very, 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 very long tunnel and hoping that I run into something, which obviously I did not. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Uh, let's see, uh, I could get my drill out. That would be good, right? And then I don't think I ran into any more volatiles over in my little section that I was digging over here. Although I could go down there and dig. Um, I have some nitrice, which I don't really need right now. Um, more nitrice, which I don't need. 
some copper in here, and I thought I had some volatiles, or maybe I already picked them up. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, we'll just uh, keep on looking, I guess. And I'm trying not to do too much, like, on the surface, uh, because I would like the surface to remain somewhat nice. Um, at least not pockmarked and full of holes everywhere. So that, that is kind of the hope. Okay, so these are all holes down. Okay, so there's some oxide, which I could probably make use of. Because that is part of the fuel that I need. Can we... Thank you. Hello? Hello? Oxide, can you please mine, please? Thank you. I'm trying not to dig too much out of the ceiling here. Okay, so I think that was good. Alright, so there's that. Uh, we have some iron in here, which... You know, great, but can't really use it. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Doesn't look like there's much else in here. Um, I could go this way, I suppose. I don't know, let's see if there's anything over there. I mean, we got some nitrice, so maybe there's some other ices kind of in the way. Um, of course, there could be absolutely nothing over here for like the next 10 minutes of drilling, which is completely possible. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, I'm going to try turning down desktop audio to 25% um, in case that's too loud. We'll see. I'm, I'm trying to just like judge this base off of like little dancing bars, so I, I don't know how any of this stuff works. I'm just kind of guessing. Um, all right, so what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What have we got? Whole lot of nothing. But then again, this is kind of how Mars is. Like, I think even the moon had more deposits than this. Like, I don't remember going, like, for so long without finding anything. Do, 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 do. Hello? Is there anyone here? Anyone at all? Anyone at all? Oh, um, I did come up with a full stack of cobalt, so I can make uh, stellite if I would like to, or if I want to. Um, hey, what do we got? We got some gold. All right, good. Can always use more gold, right? There's some more gold. More gold. Although, I'm kind of looking for volatiles right now, so if you could toss me some of those, I'd really appreciate it. I know, I know, beggars can't be choosers. here just like a few I mean unless I'm just digging in the completely wrong direction but I mean I see the stuff that's in the floor there but like I was expecting I don't know like a bigger deposit or something I don't know There's another. Okay. Maybe it's just like really, really spaced out.
I wonder if this might be a good application for uh, the other drilling rig, the horizontal one. Um, if that's even still a thing, I don't remember if I saw it or not. Um, but that does like horizontal shafts, right? And not like huge shafts, you know, just goes out a little bit. But if you line them all up, right? Let's say you've got like five in a row or something and you set them all to task, you know, just digging up like a huge thing, then all you gotta do is just like, well, I suppose you gotta power everything. So that's, I mean, you could do that with a battery though, right? Just get like a little mobile power thing set up probably do that right maybe I should try that just kind of see how it works if it works because I mean like I'm digging out a fairly large area right now but it's still kind of slow but if I had and I think they're called mules I could be wrong I could I could be remembering it wrong um, but yeah I mean I could give it a try build like a nuclear battery or something I think I need stellite for a nuclear battery though, so I should probably make some stellite. Um, that'll be fun. Not. Because I need like a lot of pressure and uh, not that much temperature, I think, to make stellite. Or was it not a lot of pressure and really high temperatures? I don't, I don't remember. Because I might have needed to use the, the nitrous I don't know, I kind of do want to try out the, uh, the horizontal miner just to see kind of what kind of damage that thing can do, you know what I mean? And plus, like, if it's, if it's fast, I mean, that would be amazing. Alright, so I just dug out, like, this whole area, and uh, I found some gold. And that was it. Which, you know, fine. Gold is great. And I will most certainly grab all of it, because I probably need to make some more electrum or something like that. Um, do, 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 do. It'd be nice if this could mine a little bit faster. Like, is there a Mark III drill? <laughs> there probably isn't, right? This is probably the best that I got. <sighs> I know I could, like, send off the rocket and uh, set it up so it does ores and ices. Um, and then just set that up through an IC so that way it's easier and hopefully runs better um, than doing it through the logic circuits. Uh, that could be another thing. Oh, hey, coal. Okay, so there's coal around here. More gold. Is this a hole? It is a hole. All right. We have some coal in the hole, which rhymes. How are we doing? Is there any more gold around the edge here? It does not appear to be so. Okay, and then we will go around here. All right, how are we looking over here? Other than the obvious stuff, it doesn't look like there's anything else hidden around here, so that kind of sucks. Um, and I don't have a large use for coal. I mean, granted, I could use it for, like, power generation, of course, but... Meh. Power low. Apparently my power is low. That's always fun. Okay, so I think I'll leave the rest of the gold in here for later. I guess I need it for whatever reason, but I'm gonna say that was a failure for finding volatiles. All right, and I don't wanna waste too much time here. But I mean, that's like a huge little cavern that we just dug out, right? And just like nothing. All right, so uh, let's hop out of here. Okay, and then we'll go up here. What is that? There we go. Sorry, that was bugging me a little bit. Okay, so 
Um, we have some oxide. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna throw this into my ice bag, and then oh wait, did we actually come out with exactly 50 gold? Like I wasn't even counting that. It's kind of hilarious actually. Okay, so here's our gold, and let's say that we need a little bit of uh, whoops. Then we just light that up a little bit, see how it goes. And we just is it, yeah it's, it's heating just slowly yeah so this probably isn't like the most efficient way to do this like you probably just want to put like a valve or something on there so you can control it but I like clicking buttons so I'm kind of happy with this Give it a little bit more of a boost. Hey, 600, there we go. So there's our gold. Uh, all right. Nice, beautiful bar of gold. All right, so uh, if I wanted, actually, hang on. I've got 61 stacks in here. If I were to try turning this thing on, I would have to get rid of this one first, of course. Um, and of course, all of this is probably loaded with, uh, yeah, dirty ore, so that's probably not great. And then these are going to take forever to run through all of that. Um, so what I can do, potentially, after I put this gold away, um, <clears throat> is get rid of the one centrifuge. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Oh, that's gonna be. That's gonna be a mess as soon as I try to do that. Yeah. Okay, so gold, you can go in there. Good job. All right. Uh, right. Suit power. Okay. Good. Got it. All right. Okay. So here's the thing. This will just constantly start spitting stuff out if I take this out. Um, so what I can do, I suppose, because I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six stacks that's going to spit out as soon as I take this apart. So here we go. Yep, there we go. So there's our, oh, that was, looks like seven stacks. OK, so they, they just kind of went flying all over the place, which, you know, fine. There's that one, and then that one, and then we can just stick these back into here because they are full stacks. Did I not? Uh, okay, hang on. Uh, let me do this this way. Oh, no. No. Dang it. I just lost that into the silo. That's going to mess everything up. What? <sighs> Dang it. Okay. Okay, so that's super awkward. But I guess it's fine, right? Uh, okay, so I need you to go back here, and I need you to not do that... Because if that went in there, that's going to... I don't think it did, though. I don't think it did. Okay, so then I can put this thing back in. There we go, like that. And then I can stick this in there. That will sort of work, I guess. Dude, the first time that I did this, like, I made such a mess. I, it was like 40 stacks or something. They just, like, spilled out all over the place. And I thought it was coming out of here because I thought that was the output, and it turns out that it was this thing, and it's like, ugh. It was annoying. All right, so there is that. More dirty ore, more dirty ore. There we go. All right, so that, I think, is all of it. Is that seven stacks? Oh, no, there's another one right there. Sir. Can I not grab it from here? Sir. 
Thank you. Okay. So, let's try this again. All right. Now, um, what I can do here is make this a junction as well. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't even need to be there. Just shoot straight in. Okay, that's cool. I'm good with that. I'm actually really good with that. Okay. Yeah, then I'll just leave this open so I can just stack stuff in there as needed. All right, easy. Okay, so now with that, um, I can take this apart and then run the gas into there. I'm going to need some more insulated pipes, though. Um, and then we'll try it out and see what happens. So there's that, and then I need a hand drill. Okay. This can go, oh, also, um, I have one more stack of this to go in there. There we go, okay. Now, that can go there. That can go there, and I need a crowbar. Now this is probably going to spit out whatever dirty ore was in there. There it is. All right. So I'll put that centrifuge right there because I'm not going to need it quite yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need it at all once I get this thing going, but uh, right. So there's that. All right. And then I'm going to need to hook this up into all of this. So that'll be fun. Um, yeah, I can, I can rework this a little bit, I think. Oh, I need a drill for this. Uh, okay. Here's that. And then we'll do one of these things. And that one also needs... Nope. Okay. All right. So we'll let that thing kind of continue to run whatever it needs to run. And then this, uh, I would like to run in such a way that I can have an input over here so I can just drop stuff off and then have it get sorted. Um, so how how would I... Huh, how would I do that? I mean, we need to have our inlet, right? And then based on what that thing did over there, I think I can have this thing Yeah, I think I. Then we'll do this going this way. And then we'll do an inlet going this way. And then we got a space in there. And then we can do a straight piece, not a window, straight. There we go. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We need just this. And that will shoot this out into there, and then I can also use this to put stuff in. I think that'll work, actually. All right, so now, um, is there an IC code thing available somewhere that I could use, potentially, to run that thing so that way I don't have to try to figure it out manually? I think the answer to that is yes. Didn't lose too much RPM? No, good. All right. So, all right. Um, now I get to take out all of the rest of... Wait, no, no, no. It already shot everything else out, so I don't have to worry about that. All right. So now I can take these apart. All right. I suppose I could have just left those two on there, right? Okay, so now that will go into the input... And then it'll shoot everything out of the output, which I believe that is what this is. Um, it's powered, so now it just needs... Oh, I need to connect up the uh, exhaust as well. Hmm, that's right. Um, okay, but we can start with this. So we'll place that down, and then um, I've got 20 regular pipes in here that kind of run to the dirty stuff. Uh, let's see, so this can go here, steel sheets can go with the steel sheets, this can go there, I suppose. Actually, you know what, no. We're going to put this over in here, 
along with all of this stuff. Okay. Now, um, question. Can I access the online uh, Steam workshop, whatever thing, from the computer like you can with Space Engineers in the bl blueprints, or is that not a thing that I can do? I don't know. But there's my water refilled. Good. Close out of that for now. Um, I need more insulated pipes. I have none. Okay. So that's going to require some of these, and it's going to require steel. Good to go. And then we will make insulated pipes. Insulated pipe. There we go. Let that run for a little bit. Um, so I'm going to check out the computer thing. Oops, nope. I already closed it. My bad. All right, so if we access this and we go into here, go into the library, can we pull from Steam? I think that's what this is. Oh, that's to publish to Steam. What does this do? Overwrite, cancel, what is this? Load, okay. So do I need to like find this from somewhere online? Um, I'm not sure. Also, uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm able to pause the recording yet. Um, I'm not quite that familiar with everything yet, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, so this is to publish, which isn't going to help me out very much. Um, so I guess, I guess, you know, I guess it's fine. Uh, we'll just hop out of here and uh, turn that back off. And then I'll look later for it. Um, and then we'll just try to run this manually. Or I can just run the pipes to it and we could try to run that thing in the next episode, which I suppose is another uh, option. All right, now how many do we have? We have 11. That actually might be enough. Thank you. All right, turn that off for now. Okay, so uh, input is here. We're going to run that to here. There we go. Okay, so that is that. And then I need to run the exhaust out this way. And this will all need to be painted brown. Um, okay, so now, how do we want to connect this into the exhaust? We can run it under here and then connect up. I think that might be the easiest way to do this. Okay, and then we can run this along the side. All right, and then, I mean, I could run it. Okay, I can't place anything there, because that's in the way. So I either have to make it run here, And then curve, 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 or just go straight and then curve. I think just go straight and curve is probably the easiest one. Um, okay, so I just need another thing of pipes. Do 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 do. do. Oh, uh, I need a. Wait, no, no, I don't need a valve uh, because the combustion whatever thing has all that fun stuff on there already. So uh, insulated pipes can go there. All right, now that is already connected, so this will just exhaust directly into our little system. And then I think this is probably the cleanest way to do this, rather than having multiple, you know, curves in here. 
so there's that. Um, do I want to paint it? Of course I want to paint it. So let me paint it real quick. All right. So that can go into there. There we go. All right. Then my brown paint. Good. Put that over there so I don't accidentally paint that because that would be really, really, really annoying. All right. Probably gonna need more paint. Yeah, definitely gonna need more paint. That's the last of it right there. And then I can waste this and my filter at the same time. Here we go, filter. What do you got for me? Thank you. All right, now do you have iron? It does not appear that you have any iron. Do you have iron? Who has the iron? No iron? Iron, okay. Thank you. Brown. There we go. Good. Take that. Um, turn this stuff off for now. All right. Do 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 do. do. All right. Okay. Now, how do I get this thing to color? Just this, like that apparently. But apparently it doesn't like doing it for anything else. Um, okay, so what I can do here is remove the frame. So let me do that real quick. And that should allow me to get into here, good. We just have like a cable going right through the pipe. That's hilarious. Um, okay, so that's that. Good. And then we can just place this back. All right. So that is good to go. Our pipe is now brown. All right. And then I can try to figure out how this combustion whatever thing works. So that'll be fun. All right. So how am I doing? I could probably use some food, right? Like, let's get some, just get everything. So there's our water. Oops. Don't wanna waste all the heat in there. There we go. We still have potato left. Good, all right. So that's all that. How's our power? Might as well replace that as well. Good. Uh, close helmet. Good to go. All right, let's see, how, how do? Um, okay, so we have, I think we've got everything hooked up now. So that, okay. Oh, right. Ooh, okay. This is interesting. Okay, so we want to keep the stress down, right? And then what is this? This is combustion, oh, okay, combustion limiter. Do we need a limiter? Temperature is a thousand degrees in there. Okay, so the stress is going up. So do I put the limiter on here or do I drop this back down? No, because that's, do I drop this back down? I 
I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Wait, no, no, now it's going down. Okay, good. Okay, so stress is going down. Good. Bring this back up a little bit. Okay, stress is going back up. Nope, now it's going back down. Okay, bring this up again. Stress is still going down. Okay. All right. Stress is still... Okay, so do I change this thing then? Okay, so we're gaining in RPMs. So this is soon going to be equal to both of those centrifuges running by themselves. So that's good. Stress is increasing. Nope, now it's going down. Okay. So I bring this up a little bit more. Okay, now we're at 236 RPM. So this is now doing better than both of, both of those com uh, centrifuges combined. We're still doing okay here. Now, um, what happens when we start tossing stuff in here? Okay, stress is now at 0%, okay. So we are doing stuff. Okay, good. Stress is still at zero. Okay, this doesn't seem so bad. Let's bring this up a little bit more. Stress is still at zero. Okay, so let's bring this up. That should then increase the RPMs. Okay, our uh, throttle is maxed out, okay. We're now processing at the equivalent of four centrifuges. We're still at 0%. Now, question, if I were to drop this down to nothing, what does that do for our RPMs? Okay, so we're dropping pressure Okay, so RPMs is going down. Okay. Just that I don't want to be like blowing like all of my gas into this thing, you know what I mean? Now what if I throttle down? Our RPMs are going up, still. If I throttle down again. RPMs are going up, stress is still zero. I'm just guessing right now, man. I think uh, max RPM for this with regular fuel is 500. So we're like just about there. Okay, so that is maximum 
uh, combustion. We're at 485. Okay, that's... I'm okay with that. Dropping down the throttle. 485. I mean, we're still at 485, so that's good. Stress is still at zero. We're processing very quickly. Okay, 482, 481. Okay, now we're kind of dropping a little bit. So I think this controls the amount of gas that's going in, and then this controls the air that is being let in. I think that's how that's working right now. So then you need to find kind of like a sweet spot to where you keep your RPMs up and you want your combustion, I'm just guessing, I could be completely wrong here, but you keep your combustion limiter to 100%, so you're fully combusting everything that's in there, right? But your throttle is down, which means you're not pouring as much fuel in there. At least that's how I'm understanding it. Now, here, we are kind of still losing a little bit, so I'm going to ramp this up a little bit and see if that increases our RPMs. Okay, yeah, RPMs are going up a little bit. Okay, good. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. Now, here's, here's the question. Um, if I were to open this up to spit a lot of the stuff out, is that going to, like, destroy the stress? Oh, yes, it is. Oh my goodness, oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's fun. This is terrifying. Okay, so. If we want to make this thing empty, we probably want to slow it down all the way. Because you can see how it's like kind of rotating out of sync right now. Like there's a little bit of a bounce right there. All right, I think that's because of the stress. And then as the stress goes back down, it spins more evenly. So that was terrifying. Um, don't do that. <laughs> And then I don't know how much stuff we can put in here, but seems like a lot. And then I should probably check to see how quickly my fuel is dropping um, and if it's fast or slow. Um, probably a good thing to know, right? Two point, oh, wow, we're still at 2.6. That's amazing, actually. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with this. This is... Yeah, we're barely using any fuel. So, so that makes me happy. Makes me very happy, actually. And then we are processing whatever waste, waste gas comes out of that. So, and then I'm assuming, yeah, we're getting volatiles out of that too. So it's not doing a complete combustion, uh, which does make me worry a little bit, but maybe it's okay. And then how are we doing on this thing? Yeah, I mean, it's it seems like it's doing okay. I mean, overall, I think the thing is relatively easy to use. And uh, it's safe so long as you don't try to, like, remove stuff. Um, but yeah, it seems to be going fairly fast, so that's good. And then, uh, how quickly is this running out of stuff? Okay, we're still at 64 in there. Okay, so this is doing roughly the equivalent of nearly five centrifuges. So I should be able to run two full um, drills off of this. 
And then if I want this to spin even faster, I think I have to use the nitrous in the fuel, because I think then it goes up to over a thousand RPMs. So that's when you get like really, really, really good uh, efficiency out of it. But then I would have to mix nitrous fuel, and that's just a whole other thing that I would have to do. And then how are you doing? Okay, so it's still processing. So I'm going to take these apart and see how much I have left in here. Okay, nothing in there, nothing in there. Okay, so it was just the one hanging out in there, so that's fine. So then as soon as that one is done processing, um, yeah, so that can go in there, good to go. All right. So yeah, this thing is working well, I guess. Now, I kind of, I'm kind of curious, um, and you know that this is going to be bad when I start saying that I'm curious. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is probably going to be a terrible idea. Um, but I would like to know how much you get out of there if you open it up while it's running. And so much like how I had the button and the writer set up on there, I'm going to do the same thing and connect it to the combustion centrifuges uh, open. And it's probably going to be a bad idea. <laughs> but we're going to try it anyways because uh, that's what we do. All right, so I'm going to need one of these switches. Okay. And then I'm going to need one of these logic IOs. And as I, as I said, this is probably going to be a really bad idea, but we're going to try it anyways. So we're going to be forcefully inducing stress into this thing because reasons. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> um, actually, hold on. If I wanted to do this properly, um, I think yeah, this thing is just spinning along. 485, no issues whatsoever cranking out the stuff. That's great. Um, okay, so I need to figure out... Okay, so when I'm placing this down, right, so with the logic writer, it pulls in information from the left side, and then I need power from the top, and then it puts out the information on the right side. So I just need the button to be hooked up. Okay, so if I put it, like, over here, right... And then I put the button here. Wait, no, I can't do it there because it doesn't connect. Crap. Okay, so I need space in there to do that. Um, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so what if I put this over here, right? And we need a space, right? And then I can put the button here. So when I'm standing here, if I wanted to empty out something, or should I move the button up more? <sighs> so yeah, so 50% throttle seems to be where we need this to be to maintain max RPM. And then, so 50% throttle and 100% on the limiter. And that seems to be working very, very well. Um, I wonder if I were to jump on this thing, if it would cause me any damage or like throw me anywhere. Probably not, right? Be funny though. Find that out. Um, okay, hang on. Let me move this up one more. And I didn't have the right one on there anyways. I need the writer. So if I put that there, and then I put this up here. Kind of put everything like in line, I guess. And then I can connect this stuff. 
This is a terrible idea. You guys don't even have to say it. I know this is a terrible idea. Okay, so we're gonna pull in from the button here. I know, I know, terrible idea. Terrible, terrible idea. Then we're gonna output to the combustion centrifuge, to the open. <laughs> it's a terrible idea, terrible idea. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna back up a little bit. Okay, okay. That's not terrible. Of course, it did bring the stress up really, really fast. And I'm assuming if you're going at higher RPMs, it's just going to be even worse. But, I mean, it kind of worked. Like, I could get some of the stuff out of here. But I think it goes from the bottom to the top. So, like, the next one should be silicon. Yeah, so that was the silicon next. Yeah, so then the next one is going to be lead and the nickel, silver, hydrocarbon. But the thing is, as this is processing, it's adding stuff all the time. So, um, but I mean, if you want to get stuff out, you can, uh, you just hook this little thing up. And then of course, as you do that, it lowers the RPMs and you got to wait for the RPMs to get back up. Um, but yeah, but I mean, this is, seems to be working somewhat. Now, question, um, how long does it take this thing to slow down once you turn it off? And can I turn it off without this thing going crazy? It's a good question, let's try it. Oh, it didn't, it just, okay. That was easy enough. I was expecting an explosion, apparently not. All right. All right, so I'm not gonna need these anymore. It was fun, but if it's that easy to just, you know, turn this thing off, I'm not even gonna worry about it. And then we'll get rid of this and this, and then rebuild that back in there. All right, how we doing? Okay, so then I can just empty all of this out. That's just tossing everything in there. Good. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Spitting stuff out. Okay, so maybe we just connect this directly in here. Um, and we can still put this thing on there. You know, for, you know, additional storage, whatever. Um, but I think if I'm going to do that, uh, we need to redo this a little bit. Okay. All right, so then uh, this can go back over here. This can go here, that can go there. And we're nearly at an hour in the video, so. All right, so now this is going to be a straight. This is going to be a curve. And then we're gonna have another curve. And then we're going to have a uh, junction. Oops, no, I think that was right the first time. Okay, that can go there. And then we're going to have an uh, inlet. Inlet, there we go. And that will just go like that. Okay, so that is how we will have this thing hooked up. And then uh, I'm just gonna get this thing started up again. And then we'll see if I had it correct. Okay. Yeah, it gets it going. And I think it builds up to like a certain point and then it kind of chills. And then a uh, combustion limiter. So there's no limit to the combustion right now. 27, 28, 29, 30, 34, 35. What if I increase that? Does that help it? Not really. Kind of bouncing around a little bit, but I think it'll calm down. Uh oh, we're 
above 50%. Drop that down. Okay, so that's the stress going down. Uh, RPMs are still going up though, so we just need to rev it up a little bit. There we go. Let's see, get this thing going. Okay, stress is still going down. It's Okay, so that is max throttle. And it's just kind of like a little balancing act here, so it's it's not terrible. down. I mean, we're at 360 RPM, so that's pretty good. Okay, now we're dropping back down. Okay, so that is our combustion maxed out. Bring this up to 50, and that should bring us the rest of the way to max speed. All right, stress is calming down, and we're already processing. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, I like that a lot. Uh, it's efficient, it's fast, and then uh, throttle of 50 and then combustion limiter of 100 is what you need to maintain max RPMs. And then shutting it down is just as easy as hitting the power button, and then just make sure you turn all of these things down all the way uh, once that's done. So yeah. Um, it's just kind of like a normal engine. Uh, you gotta, especially when that spins at high RPMs, it's a little little wonky at the earlier RPMs. Then as you get closer to its max RPM, then it gets a lot smoother. And then you just gotta play with your throttle. Um, and then, yeah, fairly easy. I mean, we're at 0% stress right now. We're still gaining in RPMs. That'll go all the way up to 485. And yeah, I'm, uh, I'm fairly happy with that, actually. And then um, I may even turn on another one of these drills. So I'm probably just gonna leave that running for a while. And then once it gets like, I don't know, like 500 or a thousand different things in there, then I'll start, you know, kind of push them all out. But yeah, so that's that's pretty good. Um, and then do I wanna remove these? Like I don't need them here, right? And we saw that it's not really needed. So uh, we'll turn this on, we will turn this on, and we'll see how that works. All right. But um, I think that is going to be it for this video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hopefully the new software is working correctly. Um, I'll give it a quick preview before I post it. Um, yeah, look at all this stuff, man. Just all over the place. Okay, so yeah, combustion centrifuge. That's working very, 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 very well. And this one is almost empty, so that's good. Um, yeah, and it doesn't use that much fuel either, which is really, really surprising. I'm assuming that like the startup probably uses the most fuel because you're like maxing out the throttle. But I think once you get past that point, like we were at 2.6, we're still at 2.6 megapascals. So it's using very, very, very little fuel, which is great. So very, very useful. Um, yeah. I like it. I'm good with it. All right. But uh, that's going to be all that I got for this video. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, hopefully you'll join me for the next one. Um, I think I might actually go live tonight and play a little bit of Space Engineers. So that'll be, well, of course, you're going to be getting this tomorrow. And I'll, that'll be last night. So last night, I probably went live and played a little bit of Space Engineers. So uh, that'll be it for this video, as I said. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Have a good one.